going to make another Scandinavian dessert called Kringle. This is a pastry, which is basically like a cream puff, and it's going to have almond icing on it. So it's very, very simple. It's got only a few ingredients. It has one cup of water and a half a cup of butter, which I have on my stove right now because it has to melt together and come to a boil, and it is almost there. So we're about to put the next ingredient in, which is the flour. So I have a cup of flour, and then I have a half a teaspoon of salt that we're going to put in. So I'm gonna just go on over here to the stove, since this is just right. As you can see, it's just starting to boil in there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add my flour slowly. It gets a little clumpy looking when you put it in, but you just kind of add it gradually. Okay. okay, and it doesn't take long to get it where you want it to be because it basically needs to be um, where it will pull away from the sides and kind of makes a ball, basically. And that's what it's doing right now. Let me throw in my salt and get that mixed up in there with it, and then we can add our eggs, okay? You can see how it's already balling up, okay? See how it doesn't stick to the sides? That's how you want it to be, so you can form a ball. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off, actually, because I believe that is ready. Okay, all right, now, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mix in the eggs. I have four eggs here. I'm going to do them gradually. You can do it by hand, but I'm going to use my hand mixer, or you could use a regular mixer too if you wanted to, but I'm going to use my hand mixer. Okay. So just try to do it one at a time. Simple ingredients, hardly any at all you use for this. parchment paper down. It's a good idea to do that. It comes off much easier when you use parchment paper. Okay? Then we just put the batter onto the parchment paper. See it's still pretty hot. I think that's okay. okay and then just spread it out. to have a perfect rectangular shape, but they just suggest you put it in so you get a nice long length here. I'm going to get one of my knives and I'm going to take it off the spoon. I'm going to get that spoon a little bit too. I'm going to to this end. Turn it like that. There we go. 
So basically you just have this big rectangle of pastry dough. And we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes at 425. When we get done cooking it for 30 minutes, then you need to let it rest in the oven. Then turn the oven off, put it in a hot oven, you prick it with toothpicks to let some air in, and then you let it rest for another 20 minutes. And so when I've done that and it's ready to come out, we will put some icing on. So in you go for 30 minutes. All right, and we will see you back in about 30 minutes. Okay, the timer went off and I need to shut off my oven. And I'm going to just pull it out part way so you can see how it looks. Isn't that neat? It's all puffy and tasty looking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke some holes in it. Okay, and then I put it back in the oven for 20 minutes. So you leave it in the hot oven, you just turn it off and you let it stay in the hot oven for 20 minutes. So we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to cool off in the oven, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a frosting. Very, very, very easy. Um, it is just one cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of milk, and a teaspoon of almond extract. When we get done, we're gonna sprinkle the almonds on top of that. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use my little hand mixer again. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this in here. And then I'll add my milk as we go along, okay? thick icing. I'm going to pause just for a second and I'm going to get my almond extract in there and then we can finish up with that. So just a teaspoon almond extract. Almond extract <clears throat> or almond flavoring is something you see in a lot of Scandinavian desserts. I've used that in some of the other things I've done. ready to go very very easy that's all you do and we'll be back in about eight minutes or so okay so we're back and we've had our 20 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out remember this has been sitting in a hot oven but it's not long all right and here's what it looks like exciting right I'm going to try to just slide it right out of this hot pan. I think it'll be easier to do. That's kind of nice. Get this out of the way. There we go. Let's put this in here. All right, now, time for frosting. Okay. So, take some of our almond flavored icing and drizzle it across. Mm, the almond flavor is so strong. It smells so good. I get every last bit. Put as many on our spoon as you like. I'm just gonna put some olive oil in here. Okay, so this is the dessert, and I think we just need to try it now, just to see. I'm just gonna cut off a little piece here. 
off the end. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, good. Like I said, it's, it's very, very similar to a um, cream puff kind of pastry. And um, the icing on the top and the almonds just really give it that nice extra little flavor too. So it's very good, very easy. So if you want the recipe for this, just go to my blog, nordicknowhow.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you the next time.